guys, it's Linda from LA Plants and this is my February vlog. So this vlog initially started out as just one week like they all are supposed to be, but there was so much going on this week, which is the second week, that I just really wanted to show um, y'all in addition to everything that I've done in the first week. So this is going to be a longer video, but that's because it's two weeks full of content that I know y'all will love and are looking for and hopefully um, excited for. So I hope y'all like this vlog. Hey guys, it's Lena from LA Plants and this is my February vlog. So this vlog is actually going to start out a little bit early. So today is Wednesday, January 29th, I believe. Um, I'm starting this tonight because there's a lot I need to do and it'll impact my vlog. And I was already going to start this vlog anyways. I was going to start it on Friday, which is still January. So what's a couple of extra days? Um, this is all just bonus footage. But anyways, I'm going to um, start this vlog and I'm going to start making... Um, I'm going to start making dinner because I'm starving. I I wanted to do HelloFresh because we have been eating out a lot. And one of my things is I want to stop eating out because I've been gaining weight. Well, I've gained weight the past couple of years. And most of that's from a lot of fast food. So we're doing HelloFresh just because it helps cook at home. Um, you're still, I mean, it has nothing to do with budget because you're still paying for this, but these do come out to $5 a meal, which is a lot better than food as well. Um, and the foods were really good. And another thing is that we, um, generally make the same things and after a while you, and then, but after a while you kind of get tired of eating the same things. I know when we had Blue Apron, um, we even make some of those recipes still. Like we still have the cards because in Blue Apron and HelloFresh you get like the, um, like this is the HelloFresh one, like you get the recipe and it tells you what you need um, so you can, you know, remake it. So you get the recipes and although you can look them up, it's nice to like try it. And this is just something that's kind of like more fun to do. And so we've been doing four. So I hope this is making sense. I'm sorry guys, I'm really tired. Um, there's like a lot to do um, at work and at home, but oh, I think me, it's out of water. And that's another thing to do. Um, but anyways, so we selected to do four. So we have four HelloFresh meals. Um, we got it Saturday, the day after we came back from um, Washington slash Portland. And we've already made two. My boyfriend made one last night. I made one, I think, the first night that we got it. So we have two more meals. And we did four because we um, are going out to eat three times. Oh, no, two times, but I wanted to make tacos on Tuesday. I made tacos yesterday. He cooked the day before told y'all I'm tired. Um, anyways, I planned four meals because, anyways, we did four meals because we, um, were going out to eat twice and then I knew I wanted to make, um, tacos one night. So, um, we've just been doing four because generally we eat out at least like two, um, three times with what we had planned. So this weekend is Super Bowl weekend. So I also like counted that in that we're not going to be eating dinner at home. We'll be eating it at the party that we go to. Um, the weekend after that, we have my friend's birthday and then we're celebrating Valentine's a week early because we, you know, we're still a couple, um, and we're going to a steakhouse, so we want steak, but we don't want the Valentine's day rush. So we're celebrating a week early, um, and we're going like on a date and I think I'll still be vlogging. So y'all will see that. Um, yeah, I'll still be vlogging. So y'all will see actually both of those and then I'll upload this vlog after my friend's birthday dinner, if not the morning after if we're out too late. Um, but yeah, and I got sidetracked and this is why my videos are sometimes over edited because I just get sidetracked. I might not even edit this and just upload it so y'all can see like how many times I like jump around with my thought process and why <laughs> videos just don't work out sometimes. Um, but I don't also don't want them to be extra long and like this is at nine minutes right now. So gonna have to edit a bit. But yeah, back on track. So I will be making dinner, so. So my boyfriend actually got home right when I was about done cooking. That's normally how he works. He's really good with timing. Um, but I just ate with him 
but I just ate with him and talked with him a little bit. I'm just gonna write stuff down in my planner and then I'm probably gonna head downstairs and finish working on a presentation for tomorrow. Good morning guys, so it is Thursday, Friday. It is Friday, because it's a casual day. Um, so I ran out of half and half, and I drink like half and half and everything, and I have to have it at least my tea and my coffee. So I am in the Starbucks line, I left a little bit early to grab coffee. Um, so I'm picking up coffee and then I'm heading to work. Okay, so I just got off work. I'm driving home. I know you're not supposed to be on your phone and driving, but I do it anyways, so I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. So, um, I'm also low on gas. So the range is 15 miles, and it's 17 from where I'm currently at to my house. So I also need to pull over at the next gas station, but I don't know where there is one. And there's traffic, because it's like 4.30. So yeah, you also might see AAA in this video as well not sponsored <laughs> um but yeah so i'm gonna head to target and then grab a couple things maybe i might just do it that i'm gonna starbucks get them out because i'm really tired uh we'll see by the time i'm done with gassing up and venturing back to home okay gas crisis averted and i texted my boyfriend and he's actually gonna meet me at target so we're gonna meet at target and grab some things together Okay, so I got my donut, I got my budget planner just in case, and so I'm going to start. Okay guys, so I use TurboTax to do my taxes, so again, this is not sponsored or anything. Um, this is what I use, I've used it since I think 2013. So I do the self-employed option, so it's $72. Um, I think it's always on sale, or at least I feel like it is. Um, in Texas, there's no state taxes, so I don't have to worry about state. So um, I always do this option. Um, I don't need the live like I just put things in and it works out well and as long as I get a return I really I mean I prefer to maximize it but they still maximize like how much you get back to make sure everything's right um so you're still good with this one but um I use this one to the TurboTax self-employed for um claiming my 1099s which is what you receive when you're a blogger so I've already put everything in I've just been waiting um as like 1099s came in my W2 came in my um 1089 which is from school came in i've been putting them in and so everything is set up so i am going to show y'all um a little bit in depth so let me put this down really quick so under wages you have your income and expenses deductions and credits other tax situations and federal so no matter what you have it shows you all the types of income you can add so there's um wages and salary self-employment and employment other um, so I have my work and then I had my self-employment and then I just have the name in there. And so I'm going to click on edit and add. So when I added it, um, you get your self-employment summary. And so I've already, like I said, put everything in, but so you'll have all these options. So you'll put in your info, you'll put in your 1099. So you'll get, um, a 1099 from whoever you're affiliated through. And then 
you have expenses down here. And this is where you can go in and you can, if you owe, so like for example with ShareASale, I don't have any taxes coming out, so they'll tax me. So um, they took out $300 um, for taxes because I didn't take any taxes out on that, so they taxed it, um, which is fine. And then, and then I don't have my reward style in here yet. I don't have my W-2, but I can, but I'm going to file it anyways and then add it once it comes in. Um, which is an option, by the way, if y'all didn't know that. Um, but that way it's already, like, paid for and everything's good. But, so I have that one in here. And then I'll have reward sale, which is through PayPal. So when that comes in, I'll add it. And then we have the different expenses. So depending on what you buy, it'll break things down for you. So, um, let's see. So I'll go with um, business travel. So I went to that Erin Condren event in Dallas. And I didn't do gas because I don't have the receipt for it. And I didn't want to calculate it, but I did buy um, a hotel for the night. And so I'm doing that on my taxes. Anything that you do tax wise, keep the receipt. I have a folder in my email. I'll show y'all. So like I have a lot of folders because I like keeping everything organized. Um, and so here I have my blog. And so in here I have like different, um, I have one especially for Aaron Condren. Uh, so I have one and this has like all of my themes, all of the purchases that I do, like my hosting receipts and everything, statements. And then I'm um, like, this is the one for the hotel. So I still have that statement and that PDF and I save this PDF just in case I do ever get audited. I still have that. If not, it is here in this email and I'll archive it. Um, but I just have different things in here. And I save um, any receipts in here. And then that way I have it and I can add it up. One, I'm not going to like keep an ongoing, I'm personally not going to keep an ongoing tab. So what I do is throughout the years, I just put it in this little folder after I buy it. And then when I buy all my taxes, I go through this folder and put out all my expenses. Um, but yeah, so I have all of that in there. And then other than that, I think that's about it. It's really easy with TurboTax, which is why I do it. It's only like an extra couple of steps um, than what I normally did because, I mean, all you do is you put in your 1099 and then you add in your expenses. Okay, so ignore the dirty screen, but I filed my taxes and now I'm just going to update my planner with plans and then I'm going to head downstairs to spend some time with my boyfriend. Okay guys, so I just woke up, uh, maybe like 15 minutes ago, making coffee. I'm just gonna head over to my parents. Um, I'm doing their taxes for them. I just so, remembered it's the first of the month, so I'm actually gonna do a Q&A on Instagram as well. I like doing that once a month, just so people can ask me any questions, especially when I'm less active. I think that really helps if they want like a quick update on something. So I'm gonna do that question box and probably let those fill up a little bit and probably answer them today to all um, my parents and doing stuff. So plan for extra plan for the day. so it is Sunday well, I guess it's like mid-morning now but um I actually didn't get a lot of sleep and um I was online shopping and then for the Super Bowl um Target's having a sale and so they had select furniture on sale and so I've been wanting the matching patio set for this or not patio set the matching love seat for this set so this is our patio set that we have um I just took a photo for Instagram so I, I'll put this back down here <laughs> Um, everything's kind of messy right now, so, um, but we have this set, so it's, I think it's called the Bretano set from Target, and it's from the brand Opal House, and so, um, I absolutely love our patio, and I love this set in this rug, and so, what we did is we, I wanted the love seat to put back here, and that way we can seat four people, um, but this year they came out with a day bed so it's the exact same love seat but with a ottoman so we ordered that because it's like a major sale it's 15% off on top of the sale and that's the best deal that I've seen okay 
So Instacart came with the groceries. So I'm gonna start meal prepping now because when we get back from the game, I'm probably not gonna wanna do anything. I don't wanna be up late. I'm pretty tired. I think I only got like four or five hours of sleep. So, so definitely gonna wanna catch up on rest. Um, so I'm gonna start working on that. Um, other than that, we are headed to my friend, Catherine. She's my only like in real life planner friend. Um, I got her hooked on the Erin Condren. Um, but I met her when I first moved here. She was probably one of the, she was one of the first few people I met. I went to a manager dinner and um, they were celebrating her birthday slash her going away because she got promoted. So I, she got promoted. So I kind of took her spot um, when I got promoted. And um, we've been friends ever since. We never really worked together, worked together, like in the same place, but like we traded ideas, we hung out, um, and we've been friends ever since. She's actually the one who adopted me and her sister. So um, we like to get the dogs together. So ever since I moved here, we've um, I've spent Super Bowl Sunday with her every year. So I think this is like the third or fourth year. Um, it's normally at her sister-in-law's place, but this year it's gonna be at her place. Um, but we're gonna take Mira and she's gonna play with her sister and then she has another dog too. So it's gonna be three little pups running around. Um, and then I made the cookies and brownies last night. She makes the best buffalo chicken dip um, so, and they're like barbecuing. So it's gonna be fun. I have to wear my boyfriend's jersey. So I told him that if the 49ers went to um, the Super Bowl that I would wear his extra jersey. And so they made it so I have to wear his jersey, which is fine. Um, I'll be supportive. I'm obviously a Cowboys fan, so they didn't make it that far at all. Um, they didn't even make it to playoffs, so it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start. No. Um, so I'm going to start meal prepping, and then um, it's just going to be relaxing. So I'm just going to throw on a jersey and probably some shorts because it's like 70 degrees outside. Mira needs to go outside, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. so it is monday morning so there is not too much planned for this entire week so for today i'm nothing planned after work my boyfriend is off so i think we're just going to do um i need to finish doing some meal prep so i'm going to cook when i get off i should probably start putting that on the side too um and then other than that on thursday or i'm sorry tomorrow is happy hour and then um day after that after work i'm going to the domain with my best friend and then um, we're just going to shop and then go to lunch. She's actually moving um, by the end of the month. So I want to spend as much time with her as I possibly can. But plan for the next few days and we'll see what comes up towards the end of the week.
I just switched from my Louis tote to my Erin Condren bag to hold on my work stuff because I'm going to be going in between meetings for um, the rest of the week and then my Tory Burch bag. So this one, I'm also going to places after work. So instead of um, taking my tote, I'm just taking my work bag and keeping everything kind of separate. So in here, I just have uh, my um, small Tory Burch wallet. I have a matching black one, but I just I've, I've not looked for it. Um, I have my car keys and then I have... Um, my AirPods, just in case I need them work. And then I'm going to keep keeping in there right now, just because I just switched it out. But in here, it's just my laptop and my work binder, and I will go through that with you guys in this vlog too. And then I'll also show you all what my um, Louis Vuitton tote looks like, probably on like Thursday or Friday, when I put all of this in there, and then how I generally use it on the weekend. Okay, so hopefully this doesn't move too much, but I'm going to be taking stuff out and then I will show you all what goes where and what I'm putting in where. So, so I'm putting in these push pins. I keep forgetting to take these out of my bag and put them in my desk, but I'm just going to put them um, in the side of my bag. And then I have um, this pouch. So this comes with all the Louis Vuitton Neverfulls. And I just keep random things in here, pens. Um, it honestly depends what I'm packing and where I'm going right now. There's nothing in there. Um, I do have my Pasha accessory. And so right now there's just Advil in um, Burt's Bees strawberry lip balm. And then I'm going to put my AirPods and my wallet in here. So right now I'm just using... Just gonna put this in on the side so it's easier to get to and then I have my AirPods and I'm putting that on the side on the other side that closes and then this one goes right next to this one and then I personally like cooking my keys on here so I know where they're at and then I need to move my laptop, so I forgot to bring the keys for it, but, because I thought I was going to be using this, um, which is fine. So I'm just going to put this in here. Other than that, I have my pin and my whiteout, so I'm actually going to put that in this one that's attached to the Louis, um, just so I know where they're at. And then, this is my um, badge that I use to um, swipe to get into work. So I'm going to put that on the side as well. And then, yeah, that's um, everything that I'm keeping in here for now. Um, my planner is at work. My notebook's at work. I don't need to take anything else with me. There's nothing else in this bag or my toy bridge bag. So that is going to be it. So I'll show you all the other view. Okay, so here's currently inside my tote. So I like keeping everything or as much as I can in here so nothing falls to the bottom. Um, but keeping stuff like my keys and my badge on here helps me keep organized. And then normally I have a folio if I have like my notebook or planner in here. And I like using my leather folio and I'll just normally put that here. I try and keep like stuff that are the same sizes together. And that way, um, generally these two, this creates like a small little space where I can put like, here's my Yeti for example. So I can just squeeze that in when I'm walking in. Um, but yeah, this is inside my bag. Other than that, everything is ready for um, tomorrow. And it is snowing in Texas, which is very rare and very weird. So it's not regular snow. This is like icy. I mean, it snows icy water, but this is definitely, I don't know if this really counts as snow. Especially not after what we saw um, a couple weeks ago when we were in Washington. But 
Texas snow. Okay, so it looks like our umbrella and our pillows are here for our outdoor patio decor. Um, so I keep forgetting to take this down. Yes, it's February and some of our Christmas stuff is still up, but this is the only Christmas stuff that's still up. And I'll take it down eventually when I'm not tired. Okay, and so it's still a little chilly, but it's really, it's actually pretty nice. I really like it. Um, can't even tell that it snowed last night. Um, but anyways, so I am back home from work. We got a couple of things in, so we got the umbrella and the pillows. So we're still just waiting for the love seat and the ottoman to come in. I don't know why I can, I always like pass and skip. I always forget what the word is for that and I don't know why. Anyways, actually just got an email from the Erin Condren in Austin store. I have a mock-up planner that I um, did for the kaleidoscope light planner that's in store. And um, they messaged me saying that it's a little worn and that, um, if I would like to redo some pages so that it looks better and keep the display looking nice. So I of course said yes. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be redoing some pages. I don't know if it's a new planner or the same planner, just with pages that look nice. Um, and I think I'm actually going to do a video on it. So it's gonna be like a plan with me, but it's gonna be the setup for the book and that way people can see it. But I think that'd be really cool that like people could also have the option to see like how I put everything together and use it, which is, you know, the whole purpose of plan with me is to see how people use breath products so i'm gonna do a video on that and then um i'm gonna set up the umbrella and everything so i can show you what that looks like <laughs> I just want to make sure that everything's set up for next week so I need to find a flag sticker. I really want to adjust the way I'm planning. I don't know. I feel like I could use this for a lot more than just blocking out time. Although I know that's initially I liked it but I feel like I could do to-do lists now because I'm primarily only using this binder. I haven't been using anything else but like the budget book and since I use the daily insert pages for work now I don't have those to check my to-do list. So I've been debating on switching up like my um, style of planning and maybe going back to doing the lines and that way I can fit to-do lists. I haven't, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but I feel like I want to switch things up. The Erin Condren binders are on sale for 40% off and I've been thinking about grabbing another one with a colorful layout just to like try, like try with it because it's only $30 on sale, I believe. And I really miss my gray binder because I use mine for work. And I don't know, I just like the gray background and the gray binder was my favorite. So I could really use another gray binder. So I think I might actually order that today. All of our groceries on the coffee table because I have all of the um, new outdoor decor stuff on the dining room table. It's a little messy. Um, I sent my boyfriend Tiff's treats yesterday um, at work to surprise him because he wants to be surprised and like surprises, but I'm horrible with keeping them. Um, so I was able to manage to keep this one for him. And mainly because, you know, it's Valentine's Day next week, but we're celebrating it today. So I should have actually sent it today, but oh well. Um, I surprised him at work with Tiff's treats and he was actually surprised. So. Um, we got those on there and I think I might've ordered a little too many, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, we are back home. I
So my full length mirror is covered by my vanity because I still haven't bought a mirror for my vanity. But this is a dress that I got on Amazon and I really like it. It has like the flared sleeves that are kind of up and it's pretty, I mean it's short but it's not too short. It's not even short. It's like a little bit above the knee so it's like a really nice um, like dress. I could actually, I could actually wear this one to work because it's, it's pretty, um, it's not that high above the knee so it's even more appropriate so um but i'm just gonna wear this one for tonight um i really like it and it's new and you always want to wear new things um but yeah so i am ready i think my boyfriend is showering um i need to grab like my makeup or my makeup i need to grab my bag put that together by my heels and then um take me outside one last time but we're going on our valentine's day date yeah we'll call it that valentine's day date Okay guys, so it is Sunday morning. Today is the last day of vlogging. Um, I'm about to make some tea and then probably some granola for breakfast. Um, probably just tea just right now. And I'm going to jump into the shower and I need to uh, wash my hair and um, get it done before we go to dinner tonight. Um, we are going to the melting pot for my friend's birthday. It's a tradition. Um, other than that, I need to edit this vlog because I have so much footage that I need to go through. And then I also have to work on vlog content as well because today is Sunday and I do um, a Sunday because today is Sunday and I do a blog post every week and it's every Sunday. And so I started working on it, I believe Thursday night, I wanna say Friday night, one of those nights. Um, and I'm just gonna do affordable work clothes and share um, like some of the new clothes that I've been buying for my job. Um, because everything that I've bought has been very affordable and very cheap because I've been trying to refill my closet because I um, got rid of a lot and just, I wanna do it more on a budget and with stuff that's good and lasts. So I'll be sharing that today. Um, I'll probably work on that after uh, my shower and then start editing my vlog. And then other than that, we're just um, relaxing today. And then I need a meal prep in a little bit as well. Um, I'll probably do that. I don't know. I don't even know what I want to make yet because it's, it's, it's pretty early. Well, it's not really early, but I'm really tired. Um, but I will we'll figure out what we're meal prepping for the week and then I'm um, share that with y'all. Um, and then also need to start that as well. Okay, so I couldn't resist and I got a new binder from Erin Condren because I had an additional $5 off. <laughs> so, uh, my boyfriend gave me a look because um, I was debating on whether or not to get it. But it came out to $30, so I couldn't resist. Um, I also got the Colorful Hourly, so I'm going to try that. I really loved all of the different spreads that I've seen on Instagram with the Colorful Layout. So it's also trying something new, but... Really excited for this. Okay, so we're running to Target to do the to pick up the buy online, pick up in store, and then we're also gonna look at some of the outdoor stuff and see what they have. I also need to grab a bag, so I'm giving my friend um, this pencil patch from Erin Condren. Her favorite color is blue, and then I'm also giving her um, the new On the Go Folio sticker album because I just gave her an On the Go Folio and she loves it. So she's been adding these stickers to her collection, so this will be great for her to start putting everything together and taking it with. And then this is the vertical life planner that I um, was using for work but decided not to because I just, everything that I need in my work binder um, is perfect. This is just too much so um, I called her and she wants it because she loves using the vertical. I just personally, I can't do it, I need the lines. So um, I only really marked in January so she said yeah, she'll take it. So this isn't actually her birthday gift but it kind of goes with everything so I'm just giving it to her all together. But. Um, these are her gifts and then I'm just gonna grab a bag while we're in Target and we'll grab our lights and then um, we're off to get food which is nice because I'm really I'm starving so
guys, so good and bad. So good thing is I finally edited my vlog up until I think Sunday. Um, and then my boyfriend came into the bedroom where I was editing and he told me that I, that he found my Louboutin in the washing machine and I accidentally tossed it with the laundry because I had it on top of the laundry basket and wasn't paying attention because I need sleep. And so I washed my Louboutins. So you can still wear them. Um, they're a little beaten up in the back, um, but they're still held up pretty well. The front's a little messed up as well on this one. Um, it's a pretty sad day. Um, and yeah, if anyone knows anybody who can repair Louboutins, very cheaply. I would very much appreciate their contact information. Okay, so here are the Louboutins. So the soles are a little messed up, so they don't really stand on their own. I'm going to try and put a shoe warmer in there until hopefully they dry and they're back to normal. Um, I can, you know, still wear them. Um, yeah, they're, I mean, overall, they just look like I've had them for a while, which isn't bad. You know, it's not a completely destroyed shoe. The only thing I'm worried about is that they're um, like not flat on the bottom, that they're like misshaped right now. But hopefully I can do that and um, get these fixed so that they're still wearable. Cause I mean, I'll still wear them. They don't have to be a perfect. I mean, they're, I've already, I'm rough with heels. So like they're already getting like scraped at the bottom. And so the washing machine just scraped it off a little bit more. Um, but I just wish I would have done that because like you can, like they have paint for that. Like you can paint and make that part look more new, but I'm just hoping for the best and hoping that these are still wearable, but these are my sad batons. Okay guys, so it is Tuesday morning. I'm headed to work. I have an event tonight for um, one of our care centers, which is one of our independent practices, and my Erin Condren binder comes in. So I'm gonna set that up because I'm really excited. Um, but that's pretty much the plans for today is just work, event, and then binder. off work but I'm headed to an event in South Austin at one of our care centers and I really don't want to go because I have my new binder waiting for me at home and the new um and our new day bed which I've been waiting for to come in for since we pretty much ordered it so I'm meeting with the practice manager and then the events at 5 30 so I probably won't get back until late and there's stuff I need to do so um I will still play with my planner today and I am going to put up the day bed a Louboutin update. So I used my um, Ray Dunn little uh, mini canister, not canisters, what are these called? I used my Ray Dunn cellars. So I used my little Ray Dunn cellars. So I used this in here to kind of like shape this out um, while it dried and then here and then I put on um, the weight so it'll hold down and you know have that pressure for weight so it stands up on its own which it's currently doing. So hopefully that helps. Um, but they are dry now, so I guess this will determine. Okay, so my binder came in. Everything looks good, so I'm going to go upstairs and set this up. So here, uh, so I'm going to go upstairs and set this up. I put the pizza in for dinner. Um, I'm hungry, and this is going to be as good as it gets because I don't want to eat out, and we have frozen pizza for a reason. Um, but I'm going to set this up when my boyfriend gets off in like an hour or so. Um, I'm waiting for him to open up the boxes outside. So my boyfriend got home and we took the um, day bed, we took the love seat and the ottoman out. We already got paw prints on it, but it's okay because she likes it. So this is what it looks like together. And so it doesn't attach or anything. 
but we just laid on it and it's really comfortable but here's the ottoman and then um there's that i still need to figure out how we're going to configure this because i forgot about the grill for some reason and my initial plan was to have the couch or the love seat back here have the chairs on either ends have this in the middle and that way we can use that for seating or as a day bed but i'm not sure i kind of like having everything like all around because that gives you more space and then having like the table for extra room and we also have the bar cart um, but i'll figure this out i'm in the middle of recording my planner setup so i just really want to get this on while he was here and the mirror is running around <laughs> I think I need to tie down. <laughs> so everything ties down so all of these tie down to the back which is great because it gets really windy but this one doesn't and as you can see with what Mira just did um we really need it we need to find a way to tie it down so yeah. I can probably sew in some strings and that way it stays down um and that won't you wouldn't even be able to tell or maybe just tie this down to the bottom bar and flip it over um, I might do that that'll be really easy to do um but yeah so current backyard setup so I just finished recording um two plan with me's I might turn them into one I might fast forward them and put them in here it all depends on how tired I am but I really love the way that this turned out like all of these pages have turned out so far and this style of planning um so I'm gonna definitely I think stick with this Okay guys, so I'm headed to a meeting and then after that I'm going to go to the domain and I'm going to grab some lunch. I'm going to grab that to go because I'm going to stop by the Erin Condren store, look at the new notebooks that came out yesterday, um, check in or look at the new accessories as well um, and just spend all the time there. So I just, um, I'm leaving the dummy. Okay guys, so I am back home. I rearranged the patio a little bit so everything's still a little wet, but at least it stopped raining. Um, but here is everything kind of together. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with this layout. Um, but for now, I think it's because of the grill. Otherwise, I think I would have maybe, I don't, I don't know. Um, but I have our, I moved our carpet out. I just put the ottoman in the middle for right now, and then um, I have everything um, pretty much just around the carpet. Okay guys, so the Aaron Condren surprise box came in, so I'm really excited to review this, and I'm glad I get to share this with you guys on my blog. Um, so this box, I feel like, is the heaviest box that I received in a surprise box. Um, I don't know if that's just me or if I'm tired, but I definitely feel like it's the heaviest box I received. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I'm not, I can't show what's inside just yet, but I can do like tips and hints and I'm going to unbox it and show you all my facial reactions and then give opinions from there. I think, I don't know. I haven't decided. I'm tired. I'm still tired guys. Um, but yeah, so this is also a thicker box. So I don't know if you can see this. So let me grab my ruler. So this looks like the winter box from a couple of years ago. So it's about five inches. Um, tall wide tall so it's like pretty much two of the normal size boxes put together um and then it's regular um like width but it is a pretty fat box it is purple and it has flowers all over i don't know what kind of flowers those are um but yeah so i'm really excited to open this and see what's inside okay so like i said i can't reveal what's inside just yet but i will show you all my facial reactions and that way you can get my honest opinion and i think y'all if you watch my vlogs and follow me on youtube you you or follow me on Instagram, then um, I think you kind of know my personality. Huh. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna open the box, and like I said, I can't show what's inside. Oh, although I kind of, I really wish I could. Um, so already, I think that everybody should get this box. Um, so here, I will. I need a cover here. Hold on. So I need to cover up what's inside, but I think I can show the quote. Here is the quote inside the box. So it is, let today be the start of something new. And this is absolutely beautiful. It goes um, really well with the box, like the outside of the box. And these are um, adjustable. So you adjustable. These are uh, 
interchangeable, adjustable. I don't know. You can flip this inside out so you can keep the box. And I kind of do that for storage of planner stuff. Um, but yeah, so here is the box. I'm going to flip this around. Okay, so I always start by with the card, although I know you probably shouldn't. Um, oh, that's interesting. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I really feel like if you like Erin Condren and you like goals, you should definitely get this box. Um, there's, let's see. One, two, three, four. There is five exclusives and there are two sneak peeks. So the sneak peeks are absolutely amazing. And I can't wait for these to come out and see what else they make with it. Um, but the exclusives, I feel like if you miss it, you will probably be upset that you missed it because yeah, they're really, they're really nice. Um, yeah, but this one for sure, I'm going to buy another one because of the exclusives that are in here. So I really hope that helps. Okay, guys, so I'm relaxing on our day, but this thing is so comfortable. This is like the best purchase that I've made in a while. Um, but I am relaxing on our day, but I just got home from work. I didn't vlog or anything this morning or afternoon or on my way because it's just been very busy. Um, yeah, say hi. So today I was able to share about the surprise box on Instagram. And so I posted that photo. Um, other than that, I'm going to finish up the Erin Condren planner today and probably drop that off tomorrow after work. Um, I might even take a lunch and do it during lunch. I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just been a busy day, so it's nice to relax. I really need to clean the kitchen, but I really want to wait. But I really want to make our HelloFresh meals because we haven't done that. And we still have three meals to make. But yeah, I really need to make those. Um, other than that, I need to edit this video because I'm going to share it either Saturday night or Sunday. I haven't decided yet. Um, Saturday is my best friend's surprise going away party. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I don't think she sees it coming, so best part of the surprise when you're doing it for people who like surprises. I personally hate surprises, so, um, but she'll love it. So that's all that matters. And then tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow we are going to my boyfriend's parents' house after he gets off work because it's his mom's birthday. Tomorrow is also Valentine's Day, but we already celebrated last week, as y'all saw on this vlog. Um, and it's his mom's birthday on Valentine's Day, so we're going to spend it with her. But yeah, other than that, I'm going to play with Mira. We are both enjoying, well, we were enjoying the day bed until she got distracted. Um, but right now we're just enjoying the day bed and the sunlight. It's the first nice day in a while. So finally get to enjoy our day bed. So I am making dinner for tonight. I'm making it a little late, but I just finished up the Erin Condren um, life planner for the Austin store. I need to find tape and tape down some um, of the satellite sticky notes that I put in there. But otherwise, I am making a HelloFresh meal, so I am making the Tuscan sausage and pepper spaghetti because that sounds really good right now. And so one of my favorite things about HelloFresh is that like everything comes in a bag, so it's easy to store in your fridge, nothing gets lost. But I also can use this to throw away all of the trash that I make when I unwrap things, when I like take parts of the onion and like the peppers off or whatever I'm cooking. And like I have a nice little trash bag. So I am back home from work. So Sam's getting ready and we are about to go to Target near where Sam's mom lives. So we can go um, grab a tray that I've been wanting that matches the outdoor set from Target. And that's the only store that has it. And then we are going to his parents' house for her birthday. 
and um, we're just gonna celebrate with them. And then that, no other plans. I need to get this vlog together because I do post it tomorrow. Um, I made this a two week vlog and I have up until a couple of days. So I think I just need to edit like a few more days, um, but I'm gonna do that tonight and that way everything's ready um, for after when we get back from my best friend surprise coming away party. Um, but other than that, that's it for today. Before we went to my boyfriend's parents last night, we stopped by Target and I found this tray. So I was looking for another one, but they were sold out. And then I saw this one. I thought it matched perfectly. It's a little lighter, but I still kind of like it. I don't know. So if I want to keep it, um, I don't know. So I like that it's big and we can keep like a lot of stuff on it on the ottoman. It's also circular. So we can also just put it like in the middle of the table, but I don't know about... I don't know because it's like a lighter color um but i think it does look good i just i'm gonna see what else they have if not we'll probably keep this one um it might just be some growing for me i love everything to match so the fact that it's like slightly off and mirror stuff um the fact that it's like slightly off kind of bothers me but there is some of like the darker colors in here um but we'll see i do like it i think i just need to adjust to it not being like a perfect match. I think Mira likes it too, so maybe it's a keeper. Okay, so while I'm making my stickers, I will be editing my vlog. Um, I'm all for multitasking and getting stuff done. Mira wants to cuddle, so she's not having this. She does not like when I do like productivity days, but um, I'm gonna be printing these and then editing my vlog while I wait for all these stickers to be done and that way I can knock two things out at once. It's just gonna be done uncomfortably on the floor. I'm actually gonna share um, inside everything that I put together for the new planner, for the new life planner for the Erin Condren store. So I did the month of March, and so you're only supposed to do four weeks, but I always pick the, I pick the one with five so I can do an extra week just because I think this is fun. And so I did the monthly overview page and just kept it really general. I did like a simple monthly page. And then this one is a sticker heavy week, so I did kind of like a travel one. I think I did that on my last one. I think I did like a trip to Vegas. And then for this one, I did like a trip to New Orleans for Mardi Gras, and then um, just simple things and then I had like a packing list on the side I try to switch it up just a little bit I try to switch it up just a little bit per page and make things um, different um, I have this washi down here because I've seen a lot of people do this and so I just wanted this to be like a lot of ideas um, I like using these are for the daily petite planner but I like using these as um, little check marks I also use the new washi that has the little check boxes um, and just like a variety of stickers people can see different options this is a mainly pen week, so I wanted to do something a little different. I mainly used the stencil for this one, so I thought that'd be fun to show people how they just need, like, a pen. And they don't even need a stencil, but, like, this really helped with the stencil. But the stencil does help, so this is the newest stencil, and I just use, like, the little flags and um, the little boxes and things. But I have a mainly pen week. And then we have a more of my personal style week, so I wanted to do the kaleidoscope for sure. Um, I want to do like a kaleidoscope week and then I want to do a rainbow week since I know that's popular. So for this one, this is the kaleidoscope and I really love it. It's nice, simple. There's white space, which is more my style is to not completely fill up everything because that for me gets overwhelming with plans. And then we have a functional stickers. So I just try to do a mixture of stickers to show um, how you can use them different ways. And then this is the week of St. Patrick's Day. So... I have that in here. I use the new washi a different way. Um, but yeah, so we have that one. And then this is another personal one. And I really love this one. So I did like a rainbow week. And then it's um, work. It's also different things that I haven't done but wanted to try. So having the little like what's going on today up here. Um, divided by a sticker. Work schedule. Just highlighting different meetings throughout the day. Events going on and so on. I need to tape these down. So... I'm gonna need to find some tape but other than that I really love the way this one came out 
I'm still, the last plan I made was my favorite, but I still really love the way all of this has turned out and I think it looks really good personally um but that's just my unbiased opinion but I really hope people like this and find it useful when they're shopping at UC Austin okay y'all so I just finished getting ready I'm letting Mir out one last time before I head out and so I'm gonna go to the domain I need to pick up something at Nordstrom I need to drop off a necklace to be cleaned at Tiffany's and then I'm gonna go to the Erin Condren store and I'm gonna drop off my new life planner that is now completed and then I'm gonna head to Megan's going away party, which is pretty much on the way back home. It's at Pinballs, which is a really fun arcade and really cool arcade. It's for adults and for kids and for teens. And they have these amazing brisket nachos that I love. And then there's also a whiskey bar. It's a full open bar. Um, it's really great. Um, and now they have bumper cars. We haven't been there since that. Um, but I'm really excited that, I'm really excited for the surprise party because all of our friends are able to make it. Um, some of her coworkers are able to make it and I know she's gonna really love it. So really excited for that. And then I'm gonna head back home and um, insert these last few clips into the vlog and then begin uploading it so I can have this video up and running tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. That is going to be it for content. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if y'all ever want to see anything in these vlogs or have any requests, please feel free to message me on Instagram at LA Plans um, or leave comments below for things. Um, again, thank y'all for watching.